It's Tracy and Noel. They're gonna make you LOL on 90 Day Fiance Trash Talk. This episode is sponsored by Tropical Smoothie Cafe. Kick off your summer on May 29th for National Flip-Flop Day with a free 12-inch Island Punch smoothie from Tropical Smoothie Cafe. Grab your flip-flops and head to your local Tropical Smoothie Cafe from 2 to 7 p.m. to get in on the free smoothie party. Tropical Smoothie Cafe is celebrating the beginning of summer and the return of a refreshing fan-favorite mocktail, the Island Punch smoothie. Made with peach, guava, passion fruit, mango, and pineapple. Terms and conditions apply. Welcome to episode 274 of 90 Day Fiance Trash Talk. I'm your host, comedian Tracy Carnazzo, joined by my co-host, comedian Noel Winters Herzog. Hello, Tracy. Hello, Noel. How are you? I'm very happy to be here with you. Okay, relax. Um, <laughs> <laughs> episode, uh, season eight, episode 10 of Happily Ever After. That's what we're discussing today. Well, so we, you and I were just talking and I'm like, I didn't realize Patrick and Thais wasn't on here. I they didn't realize Ashley and Manuel weren't on here. I didn't even remember. Oh, until you saw the coming attractions? Yes. That's amazing. Yeah. And then I'm like, oh, they're missing. And then it's like, oh yeah, Angela and Michael are here. What's happening? There's no way to know what's happening, Noel. That is the problem. There it's very lies weird. The problem. What's happening with Lauren and Alexi? Nothing. Okay. I know that people are like, oh, I love Lauren and Alexi. Great. Sure. Why are they on the show though? Well, because she got um. I guess she had to pay for the surgery. I guess they probably paid her and they're like, if we can film the actual fat coming out of your body and right. the color, the colors of it, let's mm -hmm. talk about it too. Right. You can get it for free. Right. And she's like, mm, okay. Yeah. It's just like, why? So I can hear, I don't know. I could see the kids hanging all over him. Like, what is this? Nothing's happening. Nothing's happening. Like I have like five notes on them. Nothing bad. Nothing good. Like nothing is happening. Nothing's happening. Um, this is a weird season, the way that they've gone about it, like Nicole and Mac mood. It's been like yeah. a week for them, but it's been like months for other people. It's just very strange. And it's just been one day for Lauren and Alexi. So <laughs> yep. before we jump into the pool of this amazing series, uh, I just want to remind you guys, there are other things that we, we do that you can listen to as well, yes. uh, such as and not limited to Teen Mom Trash Talk, Catfish Trash Talk. And then if you join our Patreon, we have so many things happening, including my favorite podcast, Recycled with Noelle and Michael. Uh, they're covering Real Housewives of New Jersey season two. They've covered such cinem cinematic classics as uh, Crossroads with Britney Spears, Fear with mm -hmm. Marky Mark, and they're moving on to Mob Wives season one. We're moving on to Mob Wives season one, and then we're going to cover Bring It On. What a great movie. Um, guys, go check that out. And also, as always, 90 Day Fiance, The Single Life is over there. And what's coming back is Unexpected. And you have every single season of Unexpected Trash Talk right there. Mm -hmm. So catch up on that because Unexpected is coming back in June. It's coming back in June after like a two year hiatus. This is crazy pants. Yeah. So make sure you go over there and check out all of our other podcasts, such as So Pumped of Vanderpump Rules podcast, Macaroni Rascals, a Jersey Shore podcast, and so many other things that you never knew, including our favorite podcast, BS, where we just kind of. We just BS. You wouldn't believe the things we talk about on there. It's not great. Okay. <laughs> well, check it out. You know what? Let you be the judge of that. You're going to love it. I guarantee. Okay, let's jump into the pool of fat with Lauren and Alexi. So it's the next day. She's going for her checkup. Now, as a board uncertified plastic surgeon, I've seen this all before. Uh-huh. This is you a typical yeah. day after surgery in the surgery center. They're, they're doing these things in the office. Noel, mm -hmm. if you have a 400-hour surgery. Don't you go to the hospital for that? Where no. do you want to have yours done? The hospital. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I hate the hospital. No, but that's what I mean. I don't want to go to like a surgery center. Okay, that's but it's like, not even, it's me, a doctor's office. It's a doctor's office. I was going to say, to me, this is like the urgent care of surgeries. You know what I but mean? But a lot of plastic surgeries like this. I know. It's weird. That's so weird for me because it's not like she got, oh, let me just get chin lipo. She got like a five hour surgery. Mm -hmm. yes, that's wild. wild. So it's the next day checkup and she really didn't sleep the night before. And she's like, you know what? I want you home with the kids. I know that you um, you were planning on going home with the kids, but now you want to take care of me. Um, so basically what she's saying is like, hey, please don't send my mom here. No, I think she's saying she wants her mom there and not him. Oh, that's what I meant. Please don't keep yeah. my mom with the kids. That's that's what I meant. Right, right. And because yeah. it's it's her mom and his dad with the kids. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, right. so it's probably like I they're, the tell kids you. are traumatized. Also, her mom's probably making out with his dad. 
Oh, maybe. Maybe they have a thing. They definitely have a thing. She's like, please, mm-hmm. please, please. We don't need my mom getting pregnant while I'm getting while I'm recovering. I mean, we can't have four under four here. <laughs> <laughs> so he's cooking for the kids and he's telling him that that the kids that she'll be back soon. Yeah, but it's like Great. they're so it's also, little. This is day one. He's right. like, oh, I'm behind on the laundry. No, you're not. Also, can you get a cleaning woman then? But also, like, you're not behind on anything. The house is spotless. Everything's fine. Stop. Yeah. Also, there, you have a washer dryer in the apartment. You have a washer dryer. You have a really nice apartment too. Like everything's nice fine. I feel like they have a cleaning lady. Stop. Yeah. Stop. Stop. Also, she has a nurse. They were talking about how she was going to have a nurse. She has a nurse her. the whole time, or just like the first. Night? She was going to have a nurse, I think, for like the first like four days or something. They talked about that she was going to have a nurse. So it's like, why does he have to be there too for the drains and stuff? Like that's why I don't believe it. Right. Yeah. Well, I liked how she was like, yeah, he's like, you know, even writing down when I take certain medications, only certain ones. Right. Well, he's logging her Advil use. I love this. <laughs> the doctor's like, you're making sure you're taking your narcotic, your narcotics, right? She's like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. She's like, yeah, look at me. Mm-hmm. I am all narcotic up. Now, this episode is sponsored by Tropical Smoothie Cafe, and I don't want to make a big deal out of it, mm-hmm. but you may or may not have uh, gone without me this week so i went yesterday i mm-hmm. happened to be in the area mm-hmm. and aka made a special trip mm-hmm. and i had the time of my life well you can kick <laughs> up your kick off your summer on may 29th for national flip-flop day with a free 12 and in wow <laughs> sorry guys with a free 12 ounce island punch smoothie from tropical smoothie cafe grab your flip-flops and head to your local tropical smoothie cafe from 2 to 7 p.m to get in on the free smoothie party no well, you just gotta wear flip-flops Okay, that's not so hard. I, what if I wear two pairs? Two pairs of flip-flops? I mean, <laughs> yeah. don't get greedy. Tropical Smoothie <laughs> Cafe is celebrating the beginning of summer and the return of a refreshing fan favorite mocktail. You know this is my favorite. Okay, let's hear it. The Island Punch Smoothie. It's made with peach, guava, passion fruit, mango, and pineapple. Terms and conditions apply. That's for you. That is all of my flavors. But it is, though. It's like, no, no, no. Those really are Tracy's flavors. You want to know her flavors? Go get that. Well... <laughs> They are um, they're my favorite flavors. Even when I use bubble bath, I like to use those flavors. Even in your cold foam. Yeah, always. Yeah, bubble bath, cold foam, <laughs> all of the things. <laughs> um, so definitely check that out because uh, you're not going to regret it. You're not going to regret it. There's so many snacks and bowls and delicious things. Tropical Smoothie Cafe believes you deserve a little vacation every day, not just once a year. Get tro- on Tropic Time with bright and refreshing smoothies, tropical bowls, wraps, and flatbreads from Tropical Smoothie Cafe. You're on Tropic Time now at Tropical Smoothie Cafe. You can enjoy sunshine by the sp- spoon fill with an acai bowl, too. See, I've been dying to try it. I keep telling you that, and I'm now I'm going to have to go back. Well, you have to go back. The Tropic Bowls yeah. from Tropical Smoothie Cafe. You can mm. try them and you'll instantly feel like your cabana side. Mm, I love that. I want something like refreshing and tropical. Well, you're on Tropic Time now. All right. Moving on. Okay, let's move on. Let's talk about Nicole and Mahmoud. So this is the second day? I mean, at least he's in a different outfit. He's in a yeah. different sweater this time. <laughs> well, this is a few days later. He's right. still sleeping on the air mattress, even though so much has changed. He went to the mosque. He made friends. Mm-hmm. He met people. Things were good. She, But she has on her breakup leather. She so, like, does what, have... do you, what does she expect? He does. How cute is it? These, these outfits are adorable. I have to tell you, this house is getting more and more of a mess. It's like yeah. bursting at the seams. Oh, yeah. But her outfits are getting better and better. I know. She well, this is so cute. He's a monster. He's accusing her of cheating out of nowhere. Nothing happened and nothing weird mm-hmm. happened at all. And he's just accusing her of cheating and they're fighting. So she but- didn't come home at two in the morning. Drunk. OK, mm-hmm. no, 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 no. So this is what happened. Mm-hmm. Very reasonable. Very rational. Okay. At okay. 8 p.m. She said, I'm on my way home. Yeah. And then at 2 a.m. she came home drunk. Yeah. What's the problem? So and then he's like, well, what happens? Like you're with, definitely with someone else. Can I see your phone? And she says, and oh, and she doesn't have to explain herself. Well, she said that she will not stay in a loveless marriage. Obviously, he's acting insane. She calls him crazy. But why is she acting like she's like, he doesn't have feelings for me. He doesn't have feelings for me. And it's like, you're so mean to him. Mm-hmm. What is up with her? I don't know what's going on, but it's not good. Also, um, they went plant shopping at Ikea. 
right before this. What do you mean? There's like, you know, when they take that cactus and then they glue the other cactus on top of it. Yes. Okay. That yes. there's a ponytail palm. There's that other thing that has the. Nyah, nyah, nyah. <laughs> <laughs> These are Ikea plants. I know. Cause I have them. Oh, how funny. I didn't even know that. I'm telling you, I'm just looking at her and I'm like, what are the, the hobbies happening in this apartment? Every, I anything. see art supplies. Everything. I see sewing kits. Yeah. Like there's just so many things. It's like I guess she does a lot of sewing, mm -hmm. drawing, IKEA plant shopping, drinking, yeah. <laughs> gardening, well, architecting. I don't see the problem. She's like, "Hello, I picked up Olga instead of coming home." Right, Olga was fighting with Julian, and I picked her up, and we went for drinks. And I but just didn't did tell you. Tell him that? Couldn't tell. But she acts like like he's crazy. She for literally being, like, said he's crazy. Right. He was she was supposed to come up at eight o'clock. She said, I'm on my way home from work. Right. Isn't she? What is she like? Isn't she like Uber eating? That's what I thought she Uber eating. Yeah, me too. I don't know. Yeah, well, I don't know. she said that the real issue is her being American. OK, how is the issue you being American? I don't know. It's almost so like America Angela stands. Has... <laughs> right. <laughs> Angela has gotten into her head. But it's like America stands for going out with your friends and not, drinking yeah and then also yeah. not telling your husband so he said that he doesn't love her anymore he wants a divorce and he she's crying hysterically like what do you mean what do you mean why would you want a divorce this is great right and she's like i can't believe that he doesn't have feelings for me anymore like he doesn't love me and then of course she flips out you can't stay here then you can't stay here mm -hmm. so she's crying he leaves and she's like well at least i'll be free i feel bad because i feel like you have someone coming here you're they're your responsibility. He has nobody here. And you just keep kicking him out, taking him back, kicking him yeah, out. Just what kidding. are you doing? But just buy him a ticket then. Yeah, but just like kidding. Right. It's so stupid to me. It's frustrating to watch. Just kidding. Well, you know what? Speaking of frustrating to watch, let's talk about Michael, Michaela and Angela. Go. What happened? Did you like her? that? Yeah. Michael and Angela. Go. Angela. <laughs> but what happened to her? I was benefiting them, by the way. Oh, that's over. Yeah, well, That's this is going to be over too. Um, so Angela, just to remind you guys, she's 57, he's 35. Mm -hmm. She is in a bikini, a string bikini. Yes. At a restaurant with her sparkle headband. She's in a bikini with her long fake ponytail that she borrowed from Sophie, apparently. Mm -hmm, um, mm -hmm. It's actually nicer than when anything I that Sophie wanted, would wear. Well, that's true. Her bottom teeth are confusing me. Well, her top ones are also confusing her bottom ones. Yeah, but here's the thing the the top ones look like regular teeth very bright the bottom ones it looks like the gums got bleached yes, it's like I the remember. whole yeah. piece is white there's i don't know what's happening there um but she is so he's gonna have his interview i guess the next day right the next day and she's asked she's like pretending to quiz him on the questions yeah, and she's like asking dumb. like these weird sexual questions See, this is the stuff that makes me uncomfortable. It's like people who have to go out of their way to be sexual like this. Well, it's so creepy. They met seven years ago. And the right. first time they were in Africa. And they had sex 36 times. In two weeks. She's like, well, maybe 37. Okay. Then we have to see this terrible, awkward wedding make out. Okay. But okay. Okay, just okay. Doesn't stop. when I was getting married, yes. I'm like, Matt, if you do anything except for tap kiss me, I'm, right. I don't even want to tap kiss. I'm afraid to kiss in front of my mom, even yeah. though who cares. Mm -hmm. But it's like, I'm going to melt into the floor and die if we do anything else. You just know, Angela is like, I want tongue. I need to show everyone you're mm -hmm. my man. Mm -hmm. And they just keep kissing and it's loud and the microphone's on. Mm -hmm. I was like, if I just would have walked away, like, I don't know. what. Okay, so I officiated watching. your wedding. Yeah. I would yeah. have walked away with you. I would have been like, Noel, let's get out of here. But that's what I mean. <laughs> that is, is so embarrassing to me. It's really embarrassing all of us. Even on Jersey Licious, Tracy, when she was getting married, was like, yeah. I want tongue. You want tongue? See, you yeah. want tongue? Tracy's my friend. I love her so much, yeah. but I don't want tongue on my wedding day. Well, wait until I DM her and ask her about this tongue on her ask wedding Ask her. Day. <laughs> I'm going to. All right. So they went to couples therapy and it really saved their marriage. Okay, so the thing is, like, you can't keep crying and shouting that he does all these things wrong and just keep taking him back. Right. Well, he doesn't. She's common asking him, theme of the show. I know she's asking him some more questions. Um, yeah. 
And she's like, you know, what religion is your wife? And he's like, Christian. And then she asks him what kind. And he says, Italian? Italian. Was he trying to say Roman Catholic? Roman Catholic. Okay, yeah. well, she's a Baptist. She said that if he gets denied this time, she's just going to break up with him. But, like, the way that she speaks, no matter what, even if she's playing around, it's just mean. She's I just mean. can't take it. It's just mean all the time. Well, she FaceTimes with her grandchildren. Mm -hmm. And she's, they're talking she to Papa. <laughs> it just makes me laugh because she has really tried so hard to make Papa happen. Uh-huh. She's like, oh, my God, it's not just me that's involved. It's the kids. And it's like, I think they're going to be OK. They've never met him. And then she's like, he wanted a kid. So I gave him seven. You gave him seven. Mm -hmm. okay, well, he he's going to be so excited. Seven. He's so excited. He ran away. Anyway, I uh, saw her dead fibroid on camera. Do you remember that? Yeah, I love that. Yeah, it was the best. I actually love that. So uh -huh. um, she has his interview tomorrow and right. she is yelling at him. The, now, this is mm -hmm. the next day. She's yelling at him. He made a mistake. OK, she's flipping I, out. Here's the thing. I mean, obviously, Angela's too much. No, she's what? right, though. Oh, OK, thank you, Tracy. Why would he pick the te OK? The text message says, I'm going to divorce your ass. Why is that what he chose? It's talking about the cheating. Right. And it's her threatening him. Right. So he it's almost he like screenshots are you it for help. Yes. He screenshots it, yeah. prints it out, puts it yeah. in the packet. And, didn't and tell her. He didn't tell her. And he's like, well, I just want to show them that we fight like a regular married couple. Oh, Tracy, I'm like, as much as I hate the way she goes about things, she is so right. on. OK, this. thank you. That's what I, yeah. I was like. Oh, I hate no. to like give it to her. Me but too. No, she's right. I would have been like. What the hell is this? So are you, are you asking me? for help? Right. Like, what is he doing? Is it an is, SOS? Does he want to be denied? Yeah. SOS. Should I shingle? Oh, an That's SOS. Got it. Wow. Got it. Wow. Mm -hmm. Yeah, should uh -huh. I shingle? That's what Who they used to eat. Cream beef. Mm. Wow. Who's they? Mm -hmm. The like uh the soldiers. They used to eat like cream beef. Like my grandfather used to eat it. Like wow. chipped beef on toast. That's what I'm gonna get for you. Yeah, it's called shit on a shingle. We're going to have that for your birthday this year. I'm doing mm, the menu. Can't wait. That's the cake I want. I want a shit on a shingle cake. Well, you're going to asking it. and I answered. It's clearly going to be chocolate. OK, mm. so moving on. Mm -hmm. Um, So she, she just smokes, keeps smoking cigarettes. She smokes a cigarette <laughs> about it. She smokes a cigarette about it. Understood. I got to yeah. tell you, putting myself in this situation, mm -hmm. I might have smoked a cigarette about it. That yeah, I mean, oh, so mad. Yeah, I have to tell you, me too. I'm like, I would be so stressed out if I was her. Like, we've gone through all of this, and now you choose. This is why we keep getting denied. You're a moron. Well, but she's never been there with him for his interview before. Well, that's what it's it like, is. What is it's he like, saying? Who knows time? what he said last time, right? Like, did he say, like, here's a bruise? Please don't. Look He's at like, my please broken don't. He's like, please don't. 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 Uh, she's wearing an American flag duster. I love this. My mother got this at Kroger. She sent it to oh, me yeah. last year. Uh -huh. uh, like literally? Yeah, for 4th of July. She sent right. it to me. Mm -hmm. right. um, well, he had gotten flagged and denied twice. So That's wild. For So he was applying for a student visa and then a fiance visa. Okay. Both denied. She smokes a cigarette about it. She drinks mm -hmm. some Coca-Cola about it. She drinks some juice about it. Oh. And she takes some vitamins about it. Speaking of, I wanted to ask you real quick. I forgot in yeah. the beginning of the episode, right when it started, they're at a bar and Michael goes up to the bar and the bartender shaking a drink okay. and he pours out two Coca Colas. He just pours out like, you know, uh, when you're shaking a martini. Yeah. yeah, he he Chills. pours out Coca Cola for them. There's and I'm nothing like, this in it is the dumbest shit I've ever no and she's like there better not be alcohol in here Michael and there was no alcohol it was just cokes they shook it wow way to flatten my soda but that I, see, I, got so <laughs> you got, I know you did. listen I know how you feel about flat soda we've had to leave many an establishment in a in a huff <laughs> <laughs> there is well, nothing worse like to me I'd rather soda. drink warm soda than flat soda and it's like you <laughs> purposely like do i have a stomach ache that i'm supposed to be drinking this flat soda that's disgusting okay i mean listen i could think of like just off the top of my head five different places that we've had to storm <laughs> out of yeah that's right and you're... i fucking storm <laughs> yes you do and i'll be like oh god okay excuse me um her mm -hmm. soda's a little flat 
Mm-hmm. And they're like, yeah, I don't know. It just comes out of the gun. We and also like, don't. Ha- yeah. First of all, I don't want your gun soda. Second of all, we don't have straws either. We, we only have straws. Paper Listen, straws. We're definitely not talking about any comedy club. So that's right. Good. <laughs> <laughs> in New York City. In, um anyway, mm-hmm. if you that know, always has diet instead of regular. I mean, that's it's not that you diet. don't have it. But here's right. the thing. If I ask right. for Coca-Cola and you say we only have diet. That's not a substitution. There that's was one day they different. ran out of ice. Oh, and I know. They gave me the warm Diet Coke. Yeah, the warm flat Diet Coke. So not yeah. only is it warm and flat, it's diet. Mm. Strike three strikes, you're out. Storm. Yeah. And I'm like, get me out of here right now. And I did. I got <laughs> you out of there. That's right. Um, well, Angela's angrious, angry. An- Ingress is angry and nervous together. Angela's angry. Angela's nervous. And she says her classic Nigerian line. We've seen this happen in Nigeria very specifically from many other women as well. What did she say? I'm done. Oh, yeah, of course. But she also said she did say when I'm wrong, I'm wrong, even though I didn't think she was wrong this time. No, I she's like, I reaction was a little bit. Well, because she said that she could have calmed down and went with. Yeah. But also, why can't you just go now then? Whatever. She's not going to be allowed any, any, anyway. She's No, I anymore. know. I know. And it's she fine. would just smoke 100 cigarettes out there mm-hmm. anyway. Mm-hmm. Smoke a cigarette about it. Moving on to Gino and Jasmine. I have one line for them. So, I mean, nothing happens. It's like a five minutes. Nothing happens. He said that she's making life decisions without him and uh, without involving mm-hmm. him. Mm-hmm. And she doesn't want to have a baby anymore. She said she physically cannot because she's sick to her stomach and she needs a pause because... Mm-hmm. Her kids are not there with her now. Yeah, when she got married, uh huh, she knew her kids were not gonna be there. Do you know how I know that? Even though no. she pretends that she found out afterwards, mm-hmm. because what was in process? You knew nothing was in process. You asked Gino to not put them on any of the paperwork. So before that's you thing. got there, so you knew it was to gonna be sure. a while. She said she wanted to make sure it was like a safe environment okay, fine. or whatever. But now don't complain that they're not here. Right. So it's you like, knew they weren't going to be here. But she's also being so mean to him. But it was your decision to right, not. Right. But have she also them. asked for a pause. And then in the confessional, she's like, I don't want to have a baby with him. Yeah. Well, that's the thing. What's going to happen? Okay. When her kids come, he's going to be like, baby. She's going to be like, I, I don't know. Well, My she's going to be like, I can't do that. Now I have five kids here that I I've actually never right. even met. I have kids here I've never taken care of one day in my life. Yeah. And this is not exactly mm-hmm. what I thought motherhood was going to be like. And I don't like this. And let's send them back. And I also don't want to have a baby. Also, well, she should pause until she's like 50. And then well, I'd be like, she, all right, we can have a baby. Well, now. she's going to be too busy pageanting now, too. He did. <laughs> he does give her the permission to do the Miami pageant. So now she's going to have to, I guess, fly back for this or. So they don't have money for a lawyer. They have the they have the pageant money. Uh Also, aren't pageants a lot of money to enter? I thought so. Yeah, you have to get like uh, you know, the approved bedazzled association approval. (laughs) You have to get the bedazzled gown. Okay, right. You have to get those (laughs) teeth that clip on over your teeth in case you lose a tooth. I don't know. I just want to get a lot of oil. (laughs) I think we're talking about different competitions. I'm talking about toddlers and tiaros, and you're thinking about bodybuilding, right? oh it's so funny well, I think a- maybe all right so let's think about miss congeniality <laughs> oh i never saw that but i think you're thinking about like john Baysdow kind of muscles like where they put the iodine with the baby oil and they rub it all over yeah you because know. Teresa judice our real housewives in new jersey is this one gun? season okay i like that look at your gun yeah look at my guns Woo! Um, oh my god wait i don't think joins. we're supposed to show any kind of weapons on Oh no, Tracy. Oh no, what's gonna happen? Guys, if you're listening to this on audio, make sure you go to our YouTube page, uh Trash Talk <laughs> Podcast, because me and Noel just showed some crazy, crazy physique. Yeah, we did. You're not even gonna believe what you see. Well, I just flexed. <laughs> you did. I flexed, you flexed. We all flexed. Speaking of flexing, let's talk uh-huh. about Sophie and Rob. Tracy. Now, let me I ask you a question. I am so mad watching this. Do you think that the only place they got permission to film in is a sex store for the whole season? Yeah, because that's all they seem to film in. Okay, so uh-huh. they go to the sex store with these outfits. And she loses me pretty, pretty deeply. But they both kind of lose me. Why does she lose you? She likes when he wears tight shirts. And she mm-hmm. wants him to wear a pride jock strap. Right. With a pride harness. Yeah, I mean, here's the thing. Like, he likes it though. He's like, he I don't want to wear. I've seen your butthole, Rob. I just have. Rob, I you have. like it. You know how I how I know you like it. 
Yeah. You're like, no, I don't want to put it on. And then he says, quote, should I have worn this when I was a stripper? Right. But like, Rob, you show your b-hole I saw on, it on Reddit. OnlyFans yeah. to men. Yeah. You just do it. It's a fact and that's okay. But stop acting. It's fine. Like, it's fine. What's a but I, you know how I know? You know how? Really? I know. No, he's I know. like, I wouldn't know how to put this on. Right. All of a sudden it's <laughs> on and he's out and he's parading in it. <laughs> Here yeah. he is, Miss America. That's right, Mr. Congeniality. Yeah, speaking of iodine and baby oil, he, so she comes out, okay, I kind of got to go with him on this, though. She comes oh, out no. in this outfit, mm-hmm. and it's just things she always wears. It's a skirt and a crop top. Right, but why can't he be like, that's what you always wear, but you still look hot? Why couldn't he just say that she look hot? That's all she wants he's from him is validation. He is, I know, but he can't give it to her because he's like very judgmental, mm-hmm. very angry, yeah. very nasty, and that's just who he is. But it's like she's outright begging you she's begging you she loves you you know how lucky you are you have this young beautiful woman in love with you dying to be married to you you can't just tell her you look nice well, you look hot they fight because he feels dumb in his harness so why and... are you still standing there in it <laughs> he loves it he's like i look so dumb look at my muscles right like, look at my nipples look at them i'm gonna reveal them then i'm gonna cover them then i'm gonna reveal them then i'm gonna cover them because i then look she, dumb she dumb, pushes dumb. him he goes against <laughs> <laughs> goes against the wall like that it's like you love this well he said that she doesn't even like him and he's like i think she's cheating on me maybe she's with Kay. and she basically said that she she enjoys everyone but him okay i want to tell you something about Kay real quick so you know sure. sophie's mom claire has like been spiraling crazy online yes. was arrested this that she said that Kay hooked up with callum and filmed it and now everybody's trying to sue Kay for like, like filming them hooking up without anybody's permission. Wow. Isn't that crazy? Yeah. I thought that that was really crazy. Like Super what tea? Crazy. Yeah. That's actually pretty good. I know. <laughs> um, Who would have thunk it? Who would have thunk it? Like who knew? But also like Rob, she's not hooking up with Kay. Shut up. I know really. So now she talks to Rob inside. She's various colors on her face. She's very sweating. She is very. How hot is this apartment? Oh, he's not letting her put the air conditioner on. No, I know. Austin. This was like, I'm telling you, this is like Kanye West wouldn't allow them to put air conditioner yeah. on the house, too. And I think it was like a weird control tactic. Yeah, of course it is. And it's like this poor girl is melting. OK, so she brings up the second phone. He's like, it's mm-hmm. just my cell phone. I got to tell you, I don't even understand this. So he, okay, he said that his Bluetooth was connected and she's like, but it wasn't. Your Bluetooth was off. Okay. But also you had an answering machine. Right. Because I don't understand. Right. But wouldn't that be what you, like, I would hear that if I called Rob, but if, if someone called Rob, you know what I mean? Like he wouldn't hear that if someone called him. I don't know. I have to tell you, it doesn't make sense to me. He says that. It was his cell phone connected to a Bluetooth. She said that his Bluetooth was off, but he's like, I just feel like he is lying, but I also don't think he has a cell phone. I think that there's like a landline. That's what I'm saying. It's so weird. But but how does she not know about it? Noel, I don't don't know. know. It's so weird to me. Well, he brings up the online cheating and she asked him, would you Mm -hmm. care if I was with someone else? Basically, Trying to make him be like, no, I love you. I, I be love with you. you. Yeah. And she leaves and she says, quote, mm-hmm. bye forever. I'm like, well, okay, maybe all she wants, like all he had to do was mm-hmm. say like, no, I don't want you to be with someone else. No, I love you. Of course, I don't want you to be with someone else. And he's just right. like, oh, is that what you're going to say? Mean. Mean as the day is long. Mm-hmm. Well, he is a fuck boy is what he is. Oh, my God. Yeah, he just makes me so mad because he's just so mean to her for no reason. So bad. Um, Let's move on to Kobe, Kobe and Emily. And Emily. Mm-hmm. He is with his family driving and they're talking about the stuff that he has to do. Mm-hmm. Um, The stuff that uh her family has to do and they need the list. Right. So they're coming over to do the knock door. OK, also, they got the online. 
Right. But I thought it was palm oil. That's what they were right. talking about. Palm oil. I know. So anyway, Emily's going to be cooking for the in-laws. We still don't see this. Right. We still don't see where's anything the meatloaf? happening. Where's the meatloaf? Ma, where's the where's meatloaf? The- <laughs> so her her mother wants to talk to his dad about this bride price. Here's the thing. Mm-hmm. Her mother totally lost me until she didn't. Until I'm watching this a little okay. more. And I'm like, oh. Right. So she's like yeah. investigating what this means. Yeah. So Kobe, his dad, his stepmom, and his two cousins come over. Mm-hmm. Now, I don't understand what happened. He said something about a white woman is a white man's flower and he plucked it. Right. So I didn't really get any of this because I feel like it was somehow cut choppy right so they bring out emily come from yes they bring out emily like here you go let's present the bride right so emily is going to so after they pay the bride price emily Mm -hmm. is going to belong to kobe but not just to kobe to his family so they're they are selling off their daughter right so that's they have no rights to her anymore so she is no longer a part of their family and that's where it's like oh that's they're like if she died we would bury her here in cameroon right so it's like, Kobe, you could have explained this a little better because you made it seem like this is a formality. It's no big deal. Right, it's no big deal. And BD, we just claim your daughter's dead body. Right. That's so crazy to me. Mm-hmm. And so that also means they have rights over the kids and you guys don't. I don't but know. I, I mean, does it matter since they're in America? Right, Because they live in America. I know. That's the way I look at it, too. I don't know. I feel like maybe this should have been a little bit. This should have been into. discussed maybe a little more. Speaking about uh, something that should have been discussed. Let's talk about Liz and Ed. Oh, God. OK, they're pa- her and Riley are packing. They're packing to go to San Diego. And she's like, hey, Riley, you're never going to come back here ever again. And Riley's like, I didn't know that. Yeah. And she's like, you remember when I explained this to you? <laughs> Here's the thing. I think she's always talked like that. We're just oh, noticing more. Okay. So she's like, also, she's like, after we go to San Diego, you're going to go back with your dad. And also, I'm never going to see you again. Right. And Riley's like, yeah, I know. I've the done usual. this before. Right. <laughs> the usual, mom. Like the first eight years of my life. Okay. So Ed wants to talk to Riley privately. Absolutely not. Why? I wouldn't let Ed anywhere. Near- first of all, I wouldn't let Ed anywhere near my child. Uh-huh. Yeah, but Ed is not. What's he going to do? I've heard some rumors about Ed. Not with an eight-year-old. You know what I mean? Like, I've heard yeah. some rumors about Ed with very I young heard, children. I have not heard that rumor. Just saying. But also, I'm in the house. Like, yeah, sure. If no, I know. But like, what do you want to say? Talk, yeah, okay. I'm going to be probably, standing right here. He probably wants to say goodbye to her. Do you not? I mean, come on. We'd be in the hallway creeping, obviously. I'm right, not going to okay, leave fine. the house for them to hang out. <laughs> All right. So he says to her, quote, I'm not sure when I might get to see you again. OK, so I'm sure. And it's never. Yeah, you're not gonna. He thinks this is <laughs> going to negatively impact Riley. You know what? Let me tell you something. This girl, there's so many other things that are going to negatively impact this her. This is not it. This is yeah. like, she's like, do you know, I don't see my mom. You know, I don't live with my mom. Right. Do you know that now nobody's <laughs> going to yell at me to make breakfast pizza anymore? Right. I'm not going to be nobody's going to be yelling. About I could be the flour. vegan I've always wanted to be. Thanks. Yeah. So he asks Liz when she's coming back, but she said she doesn't know. Why is Liz coming back? I guess to get the rest of her stuff. Yeah, because she can't do it all. She doesn't know where she's going to live. Here's the thing. She thinks they're going to get back together. So she thinks she's going to give him time to cool off. So right now she's going to San Diego. She doesn't know if she's going to be living in Arkansas or living in San Diego. You're not going to be living in Arkansas. Well, so that's the thing. Spoiler alert. Because she thinks that they're going to get back together. They're not. I know, I know that, but at the time, you know, how you know that because Ed has his own t- face tattooed on his leg. He does, but that's what she thinks. That's why he's like, "When are you coming back?" The worst part of this whole thing to me is she has to say goodbye to her dogs. I hated that. That's just not fair. Oh, well, she's coming back, she's holding the dogs, crying, and it's like, oh, I hate this so much. Well, Ed says, "quote I'm just really numb," and I think uh, he meant dumb, dumb. Yuck. Okay. So now he's like, everything in my life is going to change. I have so many decisions to make. Like, do I hire a cleaning lady or can I do it myself? And it's like, yeah, oh, you had a clean. She was your cleaning lady. Yeah. Of course. That's what he's implying. And because she's like, okay, the trash goes out mm-hmm. Monday. So take it out. Who Sunday cares? Night. Let him figure it out. Let him figure it out. But she thinks they're going to get back together. She's like, look at, like, look at how much you'll need me. It's really sad because we've all been there through a breakup. Mm-hmm. I know that people are like, what does she see in Big Ed? She's brainwashed. Yeah, that's she's the problem. Not well. that's it's just, happened. I hate watching this. Oh, I don't love it. 
It's not my favorite. I wouldn't mind just watching Liz. Like, sh- put Liz on the single life. Don't put Ed on the single life. Put Liz Thank on you. the single life. Yes. But also, mm-hmm. this is not happily ever after. You didn't get married. happily okay. after this, too. But you didn't get married. Yeah. Number one. Mm-hmm. You're not from a foreign country. You're from San You're Diego. You're both from California. <laughs> You're both from California, which uh, yeah. San Diego. What does that mean? Mm-hmm. Whales what vagina? Mean? Oh, I don't that? know. Don't you remember that from Anchorman? Mm-mm. Oh, all right. Well, I mean, I'm sure a lot of you guys will get the joke instead of Mm-mm. Noel. Uh, Noel doesn't remember these things. Well, it is what it is. Uh, okay. Guys, this has been a really great journey. <laughs> I'm glad that we got to go on it together. Uh, make sure you uh, follow the podcast at 90 Day Podcast on Instagram and Twitter. Patreon.com slash Trash Talk Podcast for all of our bonus episodes. Follow Noel at Noe Girl on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok. I'm at Trixie Chuzini on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok. TracyCarnazzo.com for all of my upcoming stand-up comedy shows, including everything podcast-related. It's right there. Trash Talk Podcast on TikTok. And don't forget, if you're listening to this on audio, to subscribe to us on YouTube and vice versa. Okay. All right. Thank you so much. Have a nice day. Bye forever. Bye.